It took all of the day and most of the night, but after a tense 19 hours, the Costa Concordia was back upright, though still lying low in the water. The cruise ship was wrestled off the rocks, now resting on a specially built underwater platform. Exposing the full extent of the damage for the first time, it looks like a housing block hit by an earthquake. The residents of Giglio gave the engineers a hero's welcome. They've lived in the shadow of this wreck for over 20 months. I was overjoyed. It's unbelievable the amount of work that has been employed in such an extraordinary operation. I'm happy they pulled it upright. I'll be happier once they move it out of here. This phase is over, but the search for the two victims never found begins. Divers will be able to explore parts of the ship that were previously impassable, and then the 1,500 cabins will be searched and the passengers' belongings, or what's left of them, recovered. So far, the operation has cost $800 million, a figure that will grow. Cruise operator Costa says insurance won't cover all of the costs. The next step is the uh, refloating of the ship. So it will take some time eh, because now we have uh, brought the vessel in the upright position and uh, what we have to do is uh, to put a number of uh, sponsors uh, on the starboard side uh, in order to, to equalize uh, the number of sponsors on the port side uh, and then uh, uh, eventually we will uh, refloat the vessel uh, with the uh, help of, the, of 30 sponsors altogether. So this filthy, floating city will sit in Giglio's waters for at least another eight months. A reminder of the human error of its captain and now of the incredible achievement of the engineers. Charlie Angela Al Jazeera, Giglio.